Are you looking for a steady stream of income from your investments? Do you want to build wealth over time without having consistently money your portfolio? The dividend ETFs and mutual funds may be the perfect solution for you. Hey, I'm Zeke and welcome to the Dream Green Show. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the top dividend ETFs and mutual funds that can help you make money and reach your financial goals. Whether if you're a seasoned investor or just starting out, this video is packed with valuable information that you do not want to miss out on. Now, some of these stocks I'm going to be bringing you in this video, I have never talked about on this channel before. They're going to be brand new to you and some of these stocks I actually own inside of my portfolio. So make sure you stick out the entire video all the way to the end so you don't miss out on any crucial information. Now, when it comes to investing into dividends, ETFs and mutual funds offer several benefits. First, they offer instant diversification. With one single purchase, you can own pieces of many different companies and sectors, reducing your risk and giving you exposure to a wide range of opportunity. Second, they are convenient. You don't have to do any research analysis required to pick individual stocks. Instead, you can rely on the expertise of a professional fund manager to do the work for you. And third, they're cost deficient ETFs and mutual funds typically have lower fees than actively managed portfolios, which means you keep more money. <laughs> you keep more of the money working for you. So let's dive into the top dividend ETFs and mutual funds you should consider if you want to make some passive income. I'm going to be showing you guys six different ETFs on how you can make $100 per month or $1,200 a year in passive income from dividends alone from these six different dividend paying ETFs. But first I have done some research and they say if I repeat something three times then you're more likely to do it so i want you guys to go ahead scroll down and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future videos i want you guys to scroll down and hit that thumbs up button and hit that subscribe button so you do not miss out on any future videos hey guys if you would like to support this channel in any way for free the best thing that you could do is scroll down hit that thumbs up button and hit subscribe so you do not miss out on any future videos but enough talking let's go ahead and dive straight into it welcome back dreamers now usually i'll give you guys the banger dividend stock with the highest dividend yield that'll make you the most passive income at the end of this video but in this video i'm going to try something a little different i'm going to give it to you guys first now what if i was to tell you guys i could guarantee you 11.5 percent return in a single year and still be invested into the s p 500 index it also has a low expense ratio and carried by one of the most reputable banks um jp morgan with this one etf you don't have to invest into very risky dividend stocks individual dividend stocks to have a decent return if 11.5 dividend yields sound interesting to you then you might want to stick around but first this video is brought to you by weeboo sign up now by clicking the link down in the description deposit any amount of money guys right now if you sign up with weeboo you get two free stocks boom just for signing up if you deposit any amount if you deposit one penny you get six more free stocks if you deposit up to hundred dollars you can get up to 12 free stocks each of them valued all the way up to seven dollars to three thousand dollars that's right guys if you just sign up deposit any amount of money this is by far the best deal you can make all the way up to around twelve thousand dollars in free money once again once you get those free stocks you could keep them inside the portfolio and decide to use it or you can sell those free stocks and withdraw all of your money guys it's literally free money do not miss out on that opportunity i'm gonna say it three times guys sign up deposit your money get free money guys sign up with the link down in the description deposit your money get free money withdraw it or use the platform um this is by far one of their best offers so yeah guys if you want to check that out the link is going to be down in the description that is weeble all right guys here goes the stock with 11.5 percent dividend yield is jepi jp morgan equity premium income now what they do with their shares you guys can see right now is at 54 dollars and 74 cents at the recording of this video now what they do with all of the shares inside of their company they diversify but they sell options they don't buy options they sell options on the stocks inside of their portfolio and generate a high dividend income that way from selling by collecting the premiums on selling these options inside of their portfolio that's how they're able to generate such a high dividend yield inside of their portfolio you guys scroll down you can see that top 10 holdings of course it's jp morgan exxon mobile and comcast and the sectors that they invest into is, is industrials um healthcare 
and technology. So if you scroll down on Robinhood, it do say that they have 11.15% dividend yield, but it's more close. It's closer to 11.75, 11.5% dividend yield. And if you wanted to make $100 from JPI um, with 11.5% dividend yield, they pay out their dividends every single month. So in order to make $100 a month on um, JPI, they're giving you $6.42 for every share of you own in dividends per year. That means you would have to have around 180 seven shares and that will cost you ten thousand two hundred and twenty two dollars in order to make one hundred dollars every single month in dividends and passive income from jepi jp morgan with 11.5 percent dividend yield that is amazing guys if i throw in a ten thousand dollars i'm going to get twelve thousand dollars coming out at the end of the year that is an amazing opportunity and remember you're getting one hundred dollars per month in dividends from jepi so you could actually buy almost buy two more shares every single month um, from that dividends if you decide to reinvest it that's called the snowball effect and that is going to explode your dividend portfolio so that is the first one with the highest dividend yield on this list jepi jp morgan equity premium income all right guys number two is schd this ETF invests in U.S. companies with a proven track record of paying dividends. The fund aims to track the performance of the Dow Jones U.S. Dividend 100 Index, which is made up of high quality dividend paying stocks from a variety of sectors. Um, SCHD is a low cost option for investors looking to invest inside the U.S. dividend paying stocks and it offers exposures to blue chip companies such as Johnson & Johnson, Procter & Gamble, and Coca-Cola, as well as different technology giants like Microsoft and Apple. Now, if we take a look right here on SCHD, over the last year, they are down 1.5%, but most companies, this is the benefits of investing into ETFs. While they're down 1.5%, most companies are down 40%, 60%. Some of them are down 80%. So this is the safety that you get from investing into good quality ETFs like um, Schwab, US Dividend uh, Equity Funds. Now they do have a dividend yield of 3.31% and they pay out their dividends every single quarter. That means you'll receive four payments a year and dividends from SCHD. Now, if we scroll down, their top holdings is, is in the financial sector, technology sector, and healthcare. And their top 10 holdings is Broadcom, Texas Instrument, and Cisco um, Systems. Now, SCHD, they have a dividend yield of 3.31%, paying out $2.50 per share over the entire year for every share that you own the SCHD. That means you would need around 468 shares of SCHD to make $1,200 a year. So that's going to cost you $36,200. $290 invested into SEHD in order to make $100 a month or $1,200 a year in dividends. So let's go ahead and move on to stock number three, and that's DVY. Now, stock number three, I share select dividend ETF DVY. This dividend offers exposure to U.S. companies with a history of paying high dividends. It aims to track um, the performance of the Dow Jones U.S. Select Dividend Index, which includes companies that have a consistent track record of paying dividends and have the potential to deliver stable income while also providing capital appreciation. The ETF may hold stocks in large, mid and small cap companies and it's designed to be diversified across multiple industries reducing sector specific risks if you're looking for a way to generate a steady stream of income from your investments dvy may be a good option so if we scroll down and look at the top two you can see that they're investing into utilities and consumer defense that top 10 holdings is valero Altria, and only hmm. only go something like that i don't know i'm pretty sure i butchered that and philip morris now dvy they have a dividend yield of 3.3 percent um paying out four dollars and 14 cents per share over the course of an entire year so you'll need around 290 shares of dvy in order to make 1200 dollars a year so that will cost you 36,359 dollars just a little bit more than schd if i didn't mention before dvy is also a quarterly paying dividend stock so let's go ahead and move over to stock number four VIG. All right, guys, VGI is going to be a little different. So make sure that you check this out. Stay to the end of this. All right. So um, VGI is an ETF focused on U.S. companies that have a historical um, that has the history of growing their dividends over time. It aims to provide exposure to high quality dividend paying stocks with a focus on long term growth, long term growth. Um, the fund seeks to track the performance of the Nasdaq U.S. Dividend Achievers Select Index, which is made up of companies that have a track record of a, a consistent increasing their dividends. 
VIG is a great choice for investors who want to build a portfolio of high quality dividend paying stocks with a focus on long term growth. Keyword guys, long term growth. Now, VGI, they have a dividend yield of 1.89%. Now, I know you're saying, hey, that's not even close to 11.5%. That's only half of 3.8%, um, but VGI is almost a 2% dividend yielder at 1.89. Now, over the last year, they are down 3.16%. But if you take a look over the last five years, so over the long term growth they grow uh, a lot quicker than other etf they're up 50 percent over the last five years guys through uh through a recession through a pandemic um vgi is up 50 percent over the last five years which is absolutely insane that's why i said they focus on long-term growth they might not have the highest dividend yield but they have excellent long-term growth if you want uh, capital if you want appreciation on your investments now if we scroll down we take a look at that top 10 um, theirs is in the financial sector, healthcare, and consumer defense. And their top 10 holdings will be United Health, Microsoft, and Visa. Now, with VIG, they have a 1.8% dividend yield, paying out $2.97 per share that you own of VGI over the course of a year. That means you would need 404 shares, which means you would have to invest $63,000. $434 in order to receive $1,200 a year. I know guys, that is a lot of money, but just imagine five years from now, if they continue to grow 50%, we'll have made a lot more money in appreciation than you would have in dividends. It would not, it would not even be close. So that's one of the reasons VIG is on this list. Now we're gonna move over to number five, NOBL. Number five, ProShares S&P 500. Uh, dividend aristocrat ETF ticket symbol NOBL. This ETF invests into S&P 500 companies that have a history of consistently increasing their dividends over time. It aims to provide exposure to high quality dividend paying stocks with a focus on long term growth. The fund seeks to track the dividend performance of the S&P 500 dividend aristocrats, which includes only companies that have increased their dividends for at least 25 consecutive years. Um, NOBL is a great opportunity. It's great option for investors who are looking for a diverse portfolio of high quality dividend paying stocks now the key word in there was dividend aristocrats dividend is risk crisis any company that's inside the s p 500 and also increase their dividends every single year for the last 25 years that means they last a recession depression pandemic all of that they found their way to increase their dividends every single year for the last 25 years they might not be the highest dividend yielders but they are absolutely some of the safeties the safest dividends to have inside your portfolio because you are not at you have a lower risk of them cutting their dividends in fact over the last 25 years they increased it every single year so 25 years from now their dividend year will be even higher than it is today because they increase theirs every single year and in order to become a dividend king you have to increase your dividends every single year for the last 50 years so a lot of these dividend aristocrats are um, striving to be dividend kings so this is why this is on this list took some in OBL. So the sectors they invest into is industrials, healthcare, and financial services. Now they have a dividend yield of 1.86%. Um, the reason is low is because they have amazing growth again over the last five years. They're up 45%. Uh, they have a 1.8% dividend yield. They pay out $1.74 per share over the course of a year. That means you would need 689 shares or $64,613 invested into NOBL and order to receive $1,200 a year in dividends. Once again, these are companies, these are blue chip caliber companies that increase their dividends every single year. So that means they're gonna have amazing growth um, and capital gains and amazing growth in dividend yields. So that's gonna bring us to our final stock, SPHD. Let's pull that up right quick. Now I do have SPHD inside of my portfolio. I'm up a little bit, up 11%. Now the Vesco S&P 500 high dividend, low volatile ETF SPHD. Um, this ETF invests inside US companies with a history of paying high dividends with low volatility compared to the broader market. It aims to provide exposure to high quality dividend paying stocks while also offering lower volatility compared to the broader market. The fund seeks to track the performance of the S&P 500 low volatility, high dividend index, which includes companies that have a track record of paying high dividends and having a lower stock price uh, volatility compared to the 
broader market. Now, what that means is that they're going to have a pretty decent dividend yield. In fact, their dividend yield is 3.75%, which is absolutely amazing. But over the last five years, they're only up 9.4%. That means you're going to have the consistency of dividends every single year, and they're going to increase their dividends every single year. But um, the growth of your stocks inside of that portfolio is not going to be as high. So over the last um, five years, they're only up 9%. But that means it's not going to be very volatile. It's not going to go high and low every single week, every single month. It's going to pretty much stay anywhere from around $35 to $50 over the next five to 10 to 25 years. And that's SPHD. With SPHD, you'll collect a dollar and 71 cent for every share that you own. That means you would need 701 shares or $31,971 in dividends to collect from SPHD. If you ever see SPHD at a good buying opportunity, any of these dips around here, any of these dips right there if you see good buying opportunities you could go in and pick up some shares i'm up a little bit over 11 percent on sphd all right guys that's it in conclusion um dividends etfs and mutual funds are a great way to add a reliable source of income to your investment portfolio they offer diversification convenience and cost effectiveness making this a smart choice for anyone looking to build their wealth and reach their financial goals um thanks for watching if you made it to the end of this video let me know down in the comment section if me saying subscribe to this channel three times worked on you did you subscribe if you made it to the end of this video uh, you might as well scroll down and subscribe and if you made it to the end of this video you might want to pick up some of that free money from weeble i'm gonna also leave a link in the description to move if you sign up with that deposit hundred dollars you can receive up to thirty thousand dollars in free stocks this is great free money opportunity guys and i'm gonna leave a link down in the pinned comment section that'll take you to my patreon the patreon to take you to my discord inside of my discord i post every single time i buy and sell a stock um i also post my option trade my day trades my technical analysis and we also have pro day traders in there that post their option trades every single day so if you want to be a part of a community of traders of investors that want to be financially free just like you go ahead and check out that link down in the pinned comment section but other than that guys let me know down in the comment section are you a dividend investor do you plan do you have any of these dividends inside of your portfolio if you do let me know how that planned out and if i miss any of the top dividends in this video please drop that down in the comment section with any other questions and ideas for future videos other than that I'm Zeke, bring you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.